there's that uh, little room off the garage with the hot water heater. And there's the ceiling with the chipboard and the carport. I'm going to the front door here. Take you in the kitchen. Laundry area, little broom closet over here, cupboards above it. Nice, big, and open. Really brighten it up here with some drywall and some paint. And then your fireplace goes out to your back deck there. And I'll take you in here to the dining room. There's your dining room area. All the same type of ceilings. Sitting room in the front. I'll show you those windows again so you can see those. It's got the wood windows, aluminum tracks, and then the uh, storm windows outside that. I'll take you back over here. Over the front door. I'm open this door. Oh, yep. There's the front door. This is your porch area. Gorgeous view out front. And you'll see you can go straight through the front door and right out the back door if you want to. And there's that fireplace and Good view of everything. Lots of good potential. And your deck out back. Review. Like I said, the deck looks pretty strong, so should be good there. Take a left here, and you're looking down the hallway to the bedrooms, and your bathroom's immediately to the left. Toilet, tile, tub. Now, if you go straight across the hall, this just goes down to your basement, and then you've got your one of your bedrooms right here. And then there's that closet to the left in the hallway. Another closet over there. And you've also got a little closet in here. light on with this. All right, there's the closet with the safe in it. It's a little closet in the hallway. Again, you got the closet there, little closet there, another little closet right over here. And you got your bedrooms, your master bedroom right here. And that's your walk-in closet for the master. And then you got a master bath with that cave style shower. You want a better look at that closet. Then we got another. Bedroom here, right across. Again, same type of ceiling. And 
now we'll go down to the basement so we've got some people here I guess already so you see you can have a garage here with a door they've already put a door and some insulation in there then you've also got a garage over here and then so this is your garage area. It's kind of hard to see down here because I don't have much for lights. Yeah, that's all the lights I got. A little workshop back in here. Where your furnace blowers all out. And this all looks like just a I don't know if you see any mold there. It looks like it, but it's uh, like a black. Can't really tell if that's mold or not, but those are your flooring right there. Like when there might have been some moisture at one time. So this is all cut off already. We're going to finish this out at one time. So I got the walls up here. And then if you see it back in here, that's where I was talking about that paneling that's got molds on it but you can tear that all off throw it all away reseal everything and this must be where the hot tub is sitting at so you can see lots of mildew in here with this wall it needs to be yanked out so, all around here in that corner. But you can see up here, everything looks pretty dry. I don't see anything that's alarming above. It's mostly just old carpet in here and paneling. It needs to be yanked out. We go into this next room, which would be instead of another bedroom and this is where the ceiling tile seems a little bit moist and you'll see some stains here <clears throat> you can see where the moisture was in here so I almost wonder if this might have a hot tub in here but I don't see anything, but then when you look up in here, everything's pretty dry. Above that ceiling tile. So, rip that all down. It can be alright. There's kind of a view above the tile. You can see that very well. But it's seen way worse, obviously. It just needs to be stripped and gutted down here and sealed and redone because they just let it sit too long moisture on it and there's a spot there for wood burning stove if you wanted to do that but this is your biggest eyesore of the house obviously that paneling around the bottom needs to be replaced but uh, again like all the stuff there there's a little bit of moisture up here, all that wood. Let's see if that's still. Yeah, that might have to be replaced in there. So I have to let the inspector see how bad it is, I guess. And overall, for the price, this is a good deal. Now I'll step back outside here and let those people look around. Again, here's the garage portion. <clears throat> 